Hello, my name is Andy O'Neill from weblytica.com and I wanted to show you a quick tutorial here on how to create and save the scenario execution history URL for a scenario run. I've been doing this a lot lately. Uh, I've got clients with some pretty complex scenarios and processes and what I've done is whenever I create a record or make an update, I will generate the link right back to the uh, scenario history to see exactly what happened and it helps with it speeds up troubleshooting and it helps with finding issues that might have happened and it saves having to dig through and search through um, lots of execution ids or lots of execution runs and details so it's a big time saver so let me show you how we do this you can see right here that this is what the url looks like when you go to a, uh, a history so if i go to one of these history items you can see right up here uh, scenario slash this is the scenario ID slash log and then this is the execution ID so it looks like this right here now if you're mapping a scenario and you go in here you can see that under the gear under the general functions you can get the execution ID but you can't get the scenario ID but the good thing is the scenario ID is included in the execution ID so if we go back here and look at our Google Doc this first number right here this this value is the execution id this is the scenario id so we're going to use a substring function to find that scenario id it's it's before the hyphen in the execution id and then we're going to parse that out and then we're going to generate that link so let me show you what that looks like i've just got a basic trigger here to start my scenario as an example this is what that formula looks like now if you're not familiar with the substring ID, this might look a little bit overwhelming, but I wouldn't worry about it because the good thing about this, if we copy this here, I can paste this right here, um, and I'll paste this below the video. If you copy this and paste it into a module, it will you you don't it it will work. The thing is about this, you don't have um, there's no steps involved. This doesn't come from a particular step in your scenario which means you can drop this code anywhere and it'll 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 do that link so for example the client i mentioned earlier has some pretty complicated processes and i'm creating items in monday so in monday.com so i have a column in monday.com that is a link column and i just generate this and output this link into that item that's created i have another one where i'm using database and knack as databases and whenever I create a record, I'll stick that execution ID as a link in that record. That way I know exactly where to go to troubleshoot the scenario that created that record. Uh, again, it saves tons of time. So this is how you create it. So let me just run this. Your trigger can be anything. This is just an example. And you can see here is my output. So I'm going to right click and say go. And it takes me directly to this scenario um it ran at 9:42. yep this is exactly the one that i just generated here so this scenario run generated a link to the execution history of that scenario so just take this code that's down below the video paste it anywhere in your scenario and it will grab that execution id and it will create you a link and then you can save that alongside of your records or your tasks or your updates or whatever you're doing with integramat uh, you can have that handy and click and go see the scenario that created that and do any troubleshooting. I hope this has been helpful. Visit weblitica.com for any uh, assistance, any coaching, or any scenario support that you might need. Have a great day.